One of the most popular contests in the world. Think of it as American Idol on steroids, but also very European. Fancy pyrotechnics, ostentatious costumes, oh, and booming voices. What you're seeing is Eurovision. One of the biggest singing competitions in the world. I'm dreaming of coming to Eurovision since I'm an embryo. It's like I'm born with Eurovision. I, I, I'm watching it since I'm a little kid. Attracting thousands of fans and millions of viewers, all waiting to see if their favored country has a shot at the winning title. I love my country. I love everyone. And this is for you, Israel. Just thank you. <laughs> Since 1956, nearly 52 countries have participated, launching the Swedish group ABBA, winners of the 1976 competition, singing their now famous song, Waterloo. And a then 20-year-old Celine Dion winning in 1988 for Switzerland. After the Netflix movie Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga, starring Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams, it's gained popularity amongst U.S. audiences as well. This year, the competition takes place in the Netherlands. Like most events, Eurovision was canceled in 2020, but it's making a comeback in a smaller capacity to accommodate COVID regulations. Organizing a Eurovision Song Contest is always challenging because you have less than a year to organize one of the biggest and most complex events in Europe. But to do it in a pandemic is much, much more complicated because of health and safety regulations, because of all the limitations, hygiene. But the fans are still showing up, eager to be part of a competition known for not only its spectacle, but its inclusivity. The Eurovision is very important for me. We, we my, my partner and me, we are going for the, uh, this is the tenth time we are going to Eurovision. Though politics has begun to creep its way into performances, controversial Russian entry Maniza has used this stage to spread awareness on gender issues. But some artists, like 2018 Israeli winner Neda Barzilay, says Eurovision should remain a competition void of politics. When you see people of so many religions, of so many colors, so many ethnicities on one stage, celebrating equality. That is important. I want a dialogue, a healthy one, here. And your vision isn't the place for politics. It's a place of coming together and spreading light. Whether you're tuning in for a dramatic performance or to root for your favorite country, Eurovision certainly doesn't disappoint. And if, like me, you want to tune in, you can catch the Eurovision finale tomorrow night. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.